showed me love and kindness, and compassion, humor, and friendship. More love than I, I ever thought I could ever deserve from you. And you've been my teacher. You've taught me to love myself and life. And I, I just couldn't imagine a life without you. Even through our uh, darkest moments and hardest obstacles, I'll take you to be my forever friend and now wife. says says we promise to love honor cherish appreciate and support each other as we grow together may we treasure our uniqueness and always try to be sensitive to each other's needs we will treat each other with respect and understanding we shall strive to be for each other a constant source of friendship together let us create a home that expresses our individuality based on our love and mutual respect for one another. Let our lives be intertwined forever and our hearts beat as one. We shall remain faithful through health and illness and through joys and sorrows. Let us not take each other for granted. May we always remember why we first fell in love and never forget how much we mean to each other. As we joyfully enter into this covenant, our hope is that our home will be filled with love and peace. Who gives this woman to be married? The mother and I. Thank you. You guys may be seated. If you guys will repeat after me, I'm gonna have you do your vows with the rings in just a moment, but I'm gonna have you repeat after me. Brooke, if you'll go first. I, Brooke, take you, Tyler, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, in joy and in sorrow, as long as we both shall live. Having entered into your vows in front of God and this assembly, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. One of the, one of the things that's traditional in a Jewish wedding at the very end is to have the breaking of the glass. It's a way of showing that there's a breaking with the past, that now Instead of being single, they're now one. And so they're breaking with the past. So Tyler will break the glass, he will step on it. And we'd like to say that this will be the first and the last time he'll be allowed to put his foot down. Mazel <laughs> <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Tyler Jacobs. I love Tyler, I love Brooke, and I want to say welcome to the family, but you've been a part of our family for four years, and we, we love you. We truly love you, you know. 
And uh, anyway, congratulations to my my daughter Brooke and my son Tyler. Okay, when when you were in your nursery, there's a a picture with a quote, and it really struck home for me. It says, "The decision to have a child is to forever have your heart back outside your body." And that's how I felt. You, you brought us closer to God. You. You made me want to be a better person. That I love you and you're, you're a wonderful girl, beautiful inside and out. You met a b wonderful man, beautiful inside and out. I'm proud of the son that I raised and I'm proud to have you as a daughter and part of our family. And I just want to say I love both of you and thank you for just making him happy. And I hope that you guys make each other happy for a very long time. And I hope, son, that you learn from all of my mistakes and don't repeat them. <laughs> but I'm so proud of you. You're amazing. All right, I love you. I love you both. But I am. I'm, I'm so proud of you. And you've grown up to be the most beautiful and sensitive girl. And I hope that you have a perfect life together. And don't forget to be nice to her or you got to answer to me now, okay? <laughs> anyway, congrats to you. I love you both.